the burger wars something you probably did not hear about here in the mega city as judge dread happened upon it when he was transversing the cursed earth after the apocalypse war to get a cure to mega city 2 when dread chanced upon the fight it was in kansas in the town of in between so called because it was between the territories of the burger barons the mcdonald marauders and the burger king creeps or some called them burger boys who were fighting the burger wars it had a population of 99 mostly normal people as mutants are not uncommon in the cursed earth the burger wars were fought over who had the best burgers and by extension the other's territory McDonald city lay on one end and burgerville on the other burgerville was led by the burger king a mad tyrant who ran a town based on a fast food chain burger king before america turned to shit he was clearly a dominant personality who had a deep hatred for all things mcdonald's or related to it and wanted to conquer as much territory as he felt he deserved he in fact was in in between as he had given the town an ultimatum to choose who they would side with and was riding in to find out the results when he found that the mcdonald marauders and dread were there not much else is known about him as dread's interactions with him was cut short as during the fighting between the two gangs he was facing off with ronald mcdonald and was killed when he had his throat slit by ronald's sharp tip whip as for the winner ronald mcdonald how fitting that like the burger king he's just as mad or more so and domineering a personality with the same goals his real name is unknown but we do know that he was born the son of a man who ran a mcdonald's fast food joint before the atomic wars which we talked about before one day he started to dress like the mcdonald's mascot and took out his name his base of McDonald City, though, is actually a town which speaks to his, um, delusional mind. He is so obsessed with McDonald's that he even holds on to their idealized work standards to the death. That being said, for some reason, he is seen as a hero to his town's people. Philosophy-wise, his goal is to eradicate organic food, to replace them with his burgers and milkshakes so thick you will have to use a spoon to drink them. That just sounds pretty yummy. Also, he wants every square inch of America to be covered in a McDonald's burger bar. All things like apple pie, here she's and the Yankees that is American decent, be wiped out. All to be replaced by an onion spangled McDonald's. Now having killed the Burger King, he took Dredd and his companion Spike and the townspeople of in between back to McDonald's town. And in between was burnt to the ground. When they got there, there was a huge celebration and he commented on the quality of work there that no order would take more than a minute to serve but then he saw a dirty table and promptly shot the cleaner. That though is the end of what we know as given a chance at some point Dread and Spike got away but not before. Dread swore that he would one day return and put an end to the burger wars. Oh and if you want a tagline of Ronald in this cursed earth, it is an old tagline for McDonald's restaurant before the atomic wars and it goes, there's a difference at McDonald's, a difference you will enjoy. So that is another of the more interesting gangs in this world. Let's just hope you don't get caught my McDonald or his marauders when you leave here as if not, you might just have more plumbers than heartburn or high cholesterol. Thank you for dropping by. Until next word.